In this video, we'll go over everything that you need to know about IBKR and TWS. We'll cover account funding, permission, type of account, charts, option, and hotkeys. So I'll create a timestamp for every section of this video. But before we do that, a quick reminder that all the best tools for day trading and investing will be linked in the description. Let's get in the video. When it comes to trading, there's different type of account for different thing, but the most popular one is gonna be a margin account, which is gonna give you a margin on your equity. For example, if you have $2,000 in your account, you're gonna have $8,000 to trade. So about 4X your equity. There's gonna be a different restriction for different type of stock, but they're gonna update you in real time when you try to put an order. And after that, there's gonna be some regulated account like TFSA or Roth IRA, depending on where you're located. When it comes to cash account and also regulated account or special accounts like this for retirement, these account means that you cannot get short a stock you can only maybe buy puts, buy call, or you can long stock, but you're not gonna get any margin on these accounts. So now that you're logged in, this is the page that you're gonna be on. If you're looking to fund your account, the first thing you're gonna do is go over here into transfer and pay. You're gonna click on it, and then you're gonna go to transfer funds. And the next thing you'll do is just go over here into deposit fund. So when you're on this page, you can see that I created to wire so one is going to be a wire transfer and the other one is going to be an eft so if i'm not in a rush to add some funds or anything i'll take that method when you do a wire transfer normally it's going to be 24 to 48 hours max if you do the e-transfer eft and anything like that it will take more time sometime up to five to ten business day which is quite long so depending on if you need something fast or just done the most cost effective is going to be the EFT and the most expensive is going to be the wire transfer on your bank side. But overall, it just depends what you need. So you're going to have two options. So the next thing we'll do is go right over here in trade. This is going to be for your international person like myself. When I transfer fund, I transfer CAD and this is going to create issue if I hold the position for a long time into a US stock. So what you need to do to change your currency into USD is just go into trade and then go into convert currency. And when you are in this section, the only thing you need to do is go just choose the currency that you have and convert it to USD if you're looking to hold position into US stock. So this is just going to be avoiding a little unusual stuff that could get charged I personally have my account set as base USD because everything I trade is in USD and we'll look at this when we're in the trader permission right away. So to access trader permission, what you need to do is just go over here and go into settings. And when you scroll completely at the bottom of this page, you have the section which is account reporting and base currency is going to be USD. So this is where you change it. And if we scroll a little higher, you also have your commission structure. If you wanna change it, this is going to be right here. This is what I have. So I have IBKR Pro, Futures, Tiered, Stocks, Tiered, and also same thing for options. So scrolling back to the bottom of the page, we have something that is really important. We have trading permission. This is where you're gonna be able to go and give yourself the permission to trade sometime options, bonds future and all of the above so what we're going to do is click over here in trading permission and this is where you could click add edit and also select the one you want i personally have stocks bonds option futures and currency forex if you're not able to do a currency conversion this could be over here because you don't have currency forex allowed so this could be the issue so if you enable this you should be able to go ahead and convert your currency because it counts as a trade. So now we'll go into TWS and make it simple enough so you can trade fast and also trade well. So when you have TWS open, you're gonna have multiple layout. What I like to do is just go at the bottom, click this little plus and just create a new layout. And then over here, the first thing we'll open is market depth level two. So now we have our level two. If you wanna customize it, do anything, there's this little thing over here. To change the color, go just to settings and then go into colors and then you're able to create the color scheme that you prefer. Over here, what you're gonna have to do is go over time and sell. So when you have time and sell open, what I like to do is just go move the time on the right. 
then you have the price and also the size this you can just remove it like this don't show over here click apply so now you have it in the right order and it looks much better by the way at any point during the video don't forget to check out the links in the description i did link all the best tools for day trading and investing that includes broker scanner charts and newsfeed Let's get back to the video. So the next thing that you're gonna want is the order entry. So order entry is going to be here. Then you can just put it at the bottom of your level two. I like to put it just like this over here and then just put it tighter. So there's a couple of things that you need on this is make the font sometime a little smaller. Right now, I don't know why it's at 17, but go at 12 or something smaller. And something that's important about the order entry window is that it's going to show you if a stock is shortable or not. So that means if there's shares available if the stock is easy to borrow and you can just short it right away if this is red you're not going to be able to short it unless you have an account over 100k and you reserve the share to your account if you have anything less than 100k you're going to need to have this stock over here show as shortable normally most stocks are going to be shortable except if you want to short these really micro cap but for the most part you're going to be good to go next thing that you can do is just go over here and say portfolio i like to put this over here on the right side and what i have is financial instruments so if you're trading a stock, an option is going to show over here. Position, average price, realize, and unrealized. These are going to be the column that I keep. And I put it just so it fits everything like this. And I like to just put my level two time and sell over here at the bottom. Next thing we'll do, we'll go back in the top left. We'll go new. And then you're going to need to have, it's going to be order management and then order. So we can see what position we have and also what our orders are. So something that's important about this window is that you go over here and you click live orders. This is going to show you that this is only for the active orders. It's really important that you have this. Otherwise, you're going to have a bunch of orders and these are going to be included your live, your canceled order and the one that were executed. So if you want to make it simple and the most efficient, this is really important. And now because we are in the demo version, so I'll just do an order at maybe four 87 to buy and then I can see what I have and resize everything. If you want to see something specific about your order entry, this is where it would be. Um, there's one that's important you can have is stop price and then over here you're gonna have maybe size or quantity and I just reordered everything. So we have our ticker, we have the action limit and then the price and then we have quantity and also how many were executed and if you wanna cancel. So this is going to be the most realistic way of putting your order window and avoid getting confused. So the next thing we'll do is go over here and just add a chart. And this is going to be the old one and if you wanna add the new one, just go into chart an advanced chart over here and it's going to give you the newest one that they have what i really like about these charts over here is that they are trading view chart and we're going to be able to customize them and make them look a lot better the first thing we'll do is go over here into candles so now we have a candle chart and then over here we can just change the time frame that we want maybe one to two minutes so to add indicator just go over here and maybe you want to see vwap which is going to be very popular and also maybe you want to have Bollinger Band, which are quite popular at the moment. And now we can see we have our two indicator. Something that you probably realize is that we don't have any aftermarket or pre-market data. And to add some, just go over here and go into setting. And then what you're going to have to do is go into symbol and then just click over here into the extended trading hours. And here we go. Now you're going to have a full trading view chart. What's nice about this is that they did have a recent update which makes this chart really nice and they did add the color for pre and post market so the next thing you're going to do is going to be volume and now you're going to have your volume at the bottom so what i like to do for volume is just move to new pan below and now we can see if it's in a separate section so it doesn't get into your chart and when it comes to customization i really like to put the canva to be fully black and also the grid line just lower the opacity so they don't show too much and the next thing I like to do is just go into status line and also remove the title of this indicator value. And also over here, title, open, ILO, close. I just remove everything. 
I'll just keep the title um, and I'll just put ticker only over here. And then when it comes to trading, it's going to show my order. And then Canva over here, we can see the text is quite small. So maybe you want to put it bigger at something like a 16. And then I would go back to symbol and just remove this over here. This is the annoying line right over here. So when this is done, you literally have trading view charts for completely free in your TWS, which I think it's really, really nice. And we can also add a couple more things while we're here. Just go back to set and then watermark over here you just need to select it right there and then you're going to be able to see it at the bottom so you know which stock you are trading so the next thing we'll do is go over the scanner so we'll create a very basic scanner and then you're going to be able to customize a couple more and it's going to really help you at least find some stocks for completely free which is always a good thing so in this section just go over here and put advanced market scanner and then we're going to click us stock top gainer and then you're going to need to put a volume if it's pre-market your volume at least 750,000. if it's intraday i like to look at stock with at least 2.5 million and then i'll just also add filter and then i'll look at change over here and just press ok and i'm looking for stock that are up at least 20 percent or let's put 15 percent price greater than 20 cent and here we go you can click search and now you have at least the stock that you want so right now we're going to make this smaller and we're going to just put it over here quite small because we don't need to have this very large and then we're going to just remove this one over here by deleting bid and also deleting ask and also deleted time scan because this is going to be a live scan so delete time scan right over here and then we'll just add a watch list so this for some reason it's really big so configure fund and over here here we'll put it at a 12. So over here we can see scanner, watch list, chart, level 2 and order window at the bottom. Sorry for interrupting again but if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 20k subscriber by the end of this year and also I did link all the best tools for day trading in the description. Let's get back to the video. So when it comes to equity that's mainly how it is. The only thing that I would add is sometimes if I don't add like a spy or the cues on top over here I would just had like a news feed or something like that. There's one in TWS. I personally don't love it, but if you'd like to use one, there's some over here that you can add. So now we'll jump to the option layout and this is going to be important. And then we'll go to market data and permission when it comes to really trading all of these stuff. So over here, we have one layout and we think it's pretty good. So the next thing you're going to do is go over here and say copy tab. And then we're going to put option v1 or whatever name you would like we're going to go to new and then option chain and over here what we're going to have is the option that we have over here so option set up front we're going to just adjust it to a proper size which is going to be about 12 and we're going to look at something like spy and here we go we have it so when it comes to what i have on my option chain it's really simple i have implied volatility i want to know how much something is expensive so i look at this i look at the delta option open interest volume bid ask and the strike price so these are going to be how it's done and you can see from the two color what is the current in the money so we can see over here that the 539 or 538 is going to be considered the one that's in the money depending on which side you're looking at and this is just how it is and if you want to change anything it's going to be on top strike is going to be over here i have 25 selected and the next thing you can do is go over here and go into settings and over here click on option chain layout then you can choose your color if you want to change anything or you can change also your columns if you want to add anything just put it over here and then just add it to this by clicking add or remove and then at the bottom just calls layout mirror puts and this is just how it's done just click apply for the most part i don't trade option every day so i'm mainly going to look at this screen or something similar to that one depending on how everything is set up and then when there's a big option play i just switch to that layout so now we're going to go over the market data section and this is going to be a bit more complicated or very simple. For most people, you're not going to need a lot of data. So to access data, you're going to go over here and then go to settings. And when you're in settings, you're going to go over here, market data subscription. And when you're over here, you're going to click right on configure. And when you're on this page, it's going to show you what you have included. So over here, we have a bunch of things. And then you can also click more to see what's over here and all of that stuff. 
So the code bundles are quite important because this is where you access everything. So we're gonna look at North America, then you're gonna have code bundles. So what I have right now, it's only this one, US equity and option add-on streaming bundle. It's only $4.50 and also I have this one because you need to have this one. And if ever you trade for more than $30 USD, it's gonna be waived. So I don't have to worry about market data or anything like that. It's gonna come to $0. So if you're looking to add on more data because you really wanna have everything, this is where you would go. So you're gonna scroll down to level two depth book. And when you're over here, you're gonna scroll down. This one is free, you have it. And whenever you see something that is free, technically just add it. And then when we scroll down, we have a bunch of things included this one over here. So we have NASDAQ total view, open view. So it's gonna provide you the full book, full order on everything that is NASDAQ. And then what you need to add also is the NASDAQ ARCA book. If you have all of these book, you are literally gonna have all the data you need. If you need more specific book, it's cause you're doing something really special and you're probably not watching this video. So now we're gonna jump back into TWS because we're gonna look at hotkeys and what is the fastest way to create order and actually trade from this platform. So when you're on this level two, because we created this layout, what I like to do is go over here and click settings. Over here, we're gonna look at hotkeys and we're gonna start with the first one, which is gonna be a buy, which is pretty standard. And then I'll record what I want in term of key. So I'll put control numpad one, and then this is gonna be saved. We see numpad one, but there's a control in front of it. And we're looking to buy and size, we're gonna look at absolute. And what I like to do when it comes to hotkey is create a bunch of fast ones. So control one is gonna be 100 share, control two is gonna be 200 share, and continuing in that order until control zero, which is gonna be the 1,000 shares. Then I'll have control alt, which is gonna be by 1,000 share, control two, control alt two is gonna be by 2,000 share, control alt three, 3,000, and so on and so forth. And then I'll have my shift, which is gonna be sell. So I'll show um, in this an example. So over here, I'll have 100 share, it's gonna be a limit, then it's gonna be also on the ask, and then I'll put a slippage amount of five cent. Then route, it's gonna be smart for the most part. When I use a hotkey, I mostly use smart for anything that's buying on the ask because it's gonna find me the best price as possible and it works really well at Interactive Broker. So I'll do transmit the order, then I'll put yes and then apply okay. And then I would go here in settings, gonna look at order and then you're gonna click on the one just below which is gonna be preset. Then you're gonna go to modify stock and what you need to do is put a time in force. So GTC or you can put day, I like to put GTC, good till cancel, and then you need to click allow order to be activated or trigger or filled outside of regular trading hours. So when this is done, what you're gonna be able to do is just click over here and then we can buy as much as we want. So that's how you create a buy or a sell hotkey. The only thing I would add is a cancel order hotkey. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 20K subscriber by the end of this year.